except for his chick tape shit. I don't listen to this. The new Toronto, like shit like that. The new Toronto too. Fucking love me now. What was his? What was his? His debut shit. Like I told you, the shit where everyone falls in love. The new Toronto three. I didn't even know that was. Oh, that shit came out twenty twenty. I have to check that shit out. Oh, Daystar was cool when he was giving that whole thing with a uh, Mega The Stallion. Yeah, he got bars. He just got bars on top of bars on top of bars. A bit ridiculous. Yeah, let's see what else is going on in the world. And you see how he made a million dollars off them NFTs? I didn't even see that. I saw it say some uh, they sold out and shit. In 57 like, seconds. Like five minutes. Or In 57 seconds. Seven seconds. A dollar each. One million NFTs. Hmm. What you gonna say? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck how real you think NFTs is. That just happened. You made a million in a minute. Jeezy's still trying to make a million by 12 today. Do you see what I mean? Is it by 12? Yeah, you know, he always like, I'm trying to make a mil by 12 a day. And that song is... <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> He's still trying to make a million by lunchtime. Yeah. Tory Lanez woke up, checked his phone. 57 seconds later, <laughs> at a million. Could you imagine? Like the, now I'm talking to this uh, graphic designer. He does like a lot, a lot of photography, a lot of uh, video photography, uh, a lot of video and uh, post production work and shit. And we always end up at the same car shows, right? Taking pictures. I gotta post my pictures too. I had some dope ass pictures, but we always end up at the same car shows and take pictures. I always go to this uh, event called Dreams and Drivers. Because they always got the dope-ass cars. I always follow them. I always uh, post their cars. And they always, like, share me on their shit. And so, when they started sharing me, all the other people who usually take pictures at their events started following me. And so, I just hit them up. I was like, yo, your work is dope as fuck. What do you think about NFTs? I got a, uh, you know, I got a smart contract. I've been Ethereum blockchain, blah, blah, blah. They're like, yo, we got to talk about it then. And so, we didn't talk about it yet. But we was at the car show this weekend. And I seen this truck. We parked and then we came back to the car and I seen this truck and I was like, I knew, you know what I mean? I thought I seen him in there. I was like, I knew he was in here somewhere. So I left my business card on his fucking windshield, <laughs> like a ticket. <laughs> he hit me on Instagram yeah. like, yo, you still at the show? I was like, nah. He's like, yeah, we got to get up. So uh, definitely want to set up that shit to get some NFTs popping. Like, why not? It's just interesting, yo. That shit like... See, when I hear shit like that, I'm always just like, okay, so if Tory Lanez did that and he did a million in fucking a minute, why aren't 50 other artists doing this? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like... They might not have the uh, audience. They might not know how to tap into the NFT world. You know how many motherfuckers don't know how to use an NFT? They don't, you know what I mean? Like that. <laughs> Money bag yo's... Uh, Audience, target audience, do not know how to put an NFT together, or even buy one, or even what the fuck crypto is, or even how to, you know what I mean? Like these ain't the people that's gonna jump up and be like, oh, we got an NFT. People that listen to Tory Lanez. No, I think Tory Lanez. No, hell no. I think Tory Lanez is definitely the same people listen to Money Bag Yo and Tory Lanez. No, you don't think there's a lot of crossover there? I think there's some crossover, but not no. I think Tory Lanez has a completely different audience. The money bag, yo. Okay, so the smart rapper audience. I'm saying the more tapped in <laughs> rapper audience. Okay, we don't want to be disrespectful. We won't be disrespectful. We be, all right, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. I, <laughs> the more, the more technologically tapped in, so technology inclined. Tory Lanez ain't the only one. Is my point. He's not the only one, but it's like you so, said. Why isn't ten other rappers doing it? That's my only thing. It's like if it's that easy, is that if Jay Z if Jay Z like, wanted to drop a crypto uh, NFT today, he he could, and his audience would buy all of them, right? 
Like, he's probably waiting on a dope-ass way to do his shit. Beyonce dropped the NFT. Drake dropped the NFT. I mean, it's not like you can't do it more than once, right? Yeah, I mean, like, no, you can do it. But the thing is, you want that audience. You want that audience. You got to build up that, that uh, like, first of all, you got to make sure your audience even knows how to, you know, <laughs> like, how to even register and shit, like. Do y'all got crypto and shit? Yeah. Do y'all got enough to buy enough crypto Ethereum to even get this NFT if I put it out? That's why he put his as a dollar. Yeah. He could have put it as two dollars. I mean, two mil, two hundred. I mean, two million in a minute. So I think it's definitely he built this up. He's always been talking about NFTs. He's always talking about crypto. He's all you know what I mean? He can't I don't think I don't think if Drake dropped one today, it would sell in a minute. Okay, see I didn't know he'd be talking about that shit. I mean I, again I don't pay attention to him like that. So. Oh yeah, I do. I do. I don't think money bag ill really, you know, adds that in his normal conversations, is what I'm saying. To his fans. And I don't think his their fan his fans or regularly talking about it because he probably doesn't talk about it. But I mean, the crossover part, you still got to build the audience in the NFT world. You already got to talk to your, uh, talk to your audience and be like, yo, yo, register here. Fuck with these NFTs. Yo, check this one out. Blah, blah, blah. You got to get them already into it. The fact that he had a million people ready to buy it when he dropped it was the thing. Drake right. can't. Drake, if Drake dropped today, he'll probably end up selling a million, but he ain't selling in a minute. Because he doesn't, he hasn't prepped no, anyone. He's like, oh, got one. They're going to be scrambling, trying to make wallets. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? Like, who, else, who else do you think could do it? In a minute? Right now? Like, there's not too many artists talking about crypto, period. There's not too many artists even talking about crypto. The only crypto anybody ever talks about is Bitcoin. Right. We're using Ethereum way more than we're using Bitcoin. I called this from the jump. That's why I sold all my Bitcoin, got, it, got Ethereum with the shit. Like I'm saying, Bitcoin is good for transactions and shit. Ethereum is what you need to tap into this world for real. Or any other subsidiaries of Ethereum, like Orchid and XLM. XLM is going up. I only only had like 45 shares of it. That shit went from 27 cents to I think 39 cents in the last couple days. And that shit's going up, up, up. I made like six dollars. You know, <laughs> I'm like word. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. I mean, I'm on watch list. I made mean, maybe like thirty dollars a day off something low or something. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're yeah, tapped in. You're tapped in. Right. How many people right. are like you right now? A lot. Enough to depends make, on, you know, the spaces that you're running and shit. How many? Definitely over a million. <laughs> I'm talking about how many people are you, you think are like you around you. I mean, we can oh, say, you know, yeah, like we could say, yeah, in America, there's definitely at least a million people. Who are doing right. crypto. But right. that's only a million. Let's put it like that. All right. <laughs> like, all right, there's a million people. They all bought Tory Lane shit. I'm saying I don't think it's as common as we think we want it to be. I think there's a small It's hard majority. to tell sometimes. It's hard to tell sometimes. And it's worldwide. I think there's a small majority in America. Yeah. It's like I have conversations with you and we're talking about all these coins and, you know, day trading and altcoins and shit. And then I'll go have a talk with my sister and she's like, 
oh, I just want to buy one Bitcoin. I, was, I wanted to invest, but I couldn't afford a Bitcoin. It's like forty thousand dollars. I wanted to. It's like you don't have to buy a whole coin. You know that, right? And what you gonna do with it once you got? <laughs> you know it? you can just. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like what you gonna do with it once you got it? <laughs> yeah, it's just like you see the polar opposites of the world. Of, you know what I mean? It's like. Right, and that's what She's I mean. Not old. You know what I mean? She's not old. It's just like some people, you know, like they don't tap into the rest <laughs> of it. It's right. to them, to a lot of people, crypto is just stocks, but digital. Or however you want to call it. But they just look at it as stocks. It's like, oh, how can I flip this? Da, da, da. They don't use they don't see the tangible abilities of the crypto. Is what I'm saying. Like anybody, right. anybody who even will talk to you about Ooh, how do I get into crypto? They're trying to buy Bitcoin. You know what I mean? They're trying to flip, right. flip like everybody else who made the millions of the shit off a of doge and shit. Like nobody's really tapped in. There's not not nobody, but there's a very few that's really tapped in. I mean, look, there's money to be made and flipping if that's what you want to do. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like obviously, like you, you can be in there, don't even know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck some of these some of these coins that I bought. You know what I mean? Like. But it's like, it's a matter of, are you holding for the long term? Or are you like, you know, going while riding it up for a little bit and then swapping out, getting something else? Or like, how are you playing it? It's like, and that's what I'm saying. holding shit and you don't know what the fuck you're holding, then that's that's weird. You're holding a coin for months and months. And you don't even know what it even is or what it does or what the utility of it is. Like, that's dumb. Like, <laughs> and to, and <laughs> you, might well, you might as well swap out and trade and go back. And, you know what I mean? Like Exactly. And they even have sense. it that far. You got it that far. And then you... um. You, you 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 don't even like to me it's like all right even if you have that amount of knowledge and you want to flip and flip and get millions and flip and flip there's probably an easier way to just go buy this rare ass nft sit on it and let everybody else buy it from you and collect royalties hmm. or create an nft sell it for, just get a crypto punk you buy if you got forty thousand dollars go buy a crypto right. punk you see what I mean? <laughs> right. Then you really right. now you now you now you are investing in art. Now you flipping real shit. Like you know what I mean? Like, I really want to buy an NFT. I just don't you know see what. I don't know what the fucking start. I was how long I've like, been saying? How long I've been saying? I like <laughs> we want to we got to buy one live on a pod. I want to buy one too. Yeah. I be I be looking, I be keeping my eyes open. I told you the nigga that I followed on IG for like years, a people, people nigga, whatever. Like he sold his shit. He was a dude that sold shit for like 70 million or whatever. I was following this man for years on IG. I was like, oh, these are cool little posts. I was liking his posts for years. And then just a few months ago, oh yeah, this nigga sold his whole catalog for like 70 or 90 million or whatever. I'm like, what? It's real and it's real money. People are like, FTs ain't real. I don't give a fuck how real you think it is. <laughs> it's just- it's your bank account and you, you swipe it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that matters. That's real. That's like we were talking about with the uh, with the streaming farms and shit. Those plays aren't real. Uh, Spotify pays me out for it. Then <laughs> Those streams are real. And tell like, me how fake they are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't care if they all came from Istanbul. Like, I don't, that's not my business. Maybe I'm popping them. out there. I don't know. I don't know Istanbul. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't know that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That exactly. Istanbul, you know what's his name? That my business. That's <laughs> <Right. laughs> oh, a bull to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> None of my business. As long as the check clears. <laughs> Facts. Finish this gallon before the pot over. <laughs> no. Man, Stomach be hurt. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like to have a million people ready to buy your NFT is the hard part. I mean, that's not the hard part. To have them buy it and and and, and sell them all in the first minute is the hard part. That's what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't see everybody else prepping their fans to even know this shit. And even if they're talking about crypto, they're just talking about flipping this shit. They're not looking at it like, That's oh, there's art. There's art back here. Y'all want to invest in no art and flip the art? You know what I mean? Right. Like, That's what I've been talking about. I'm like, That's why I even set it up. Because I'm like, 
That's the new bundle. That's going to be the new bundle. Mm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I can see that. Hell yeah. Buy this hoodie and this NFT. You know what I mean? You buy this NFT for $3 or what is it? You got to be, it got to be like three forty nine. So the album's an NFT for three forty nine, 49 and the hoodie's like 80 fucking dollars. It's a bundle. You just got to buy NFT. You buy this NFT, you get the hoodie. So the album's three forty nine. The NFT comes with an eighty dollar hoodie, or you know what I mean, whatever it may be. They group that shit together. It all is all it has to be is itemized. It's got to be two separate things. That's a fucking bundle merch bundle. And they say it has to be on your own website. Well, I bet I got my own token. It's like I don't know how more own. <laughs> that that can be, you know. <laughs> right, right. That's a one of one contract. I can't. You can't even have it. That's why. I, that's the type of shit I'd be sitting on. Like you, when you ready, like, <laughs> when you want to make an NFT, shit. right. That's what I'm talking to this dude. Probably get like a, I don't know, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like something, something just catchy, just something, something collectible. You know what I mean? Like just something. Right? You see these crypto kids and crypto punks and shit like that. Just something, something dope. Or even just like one dope ass pit. Like I don't know, some 3D art shit. You seen the ones I be sending you? That shit be fire. I'm gonna buy one of those. Yeah. But yeah, to make one of those, put it, it out there. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It seems like there's no real training with the NFT shit. It's like trying to, you know, like what works and what doesn't work. It seems so like, it seems so random. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, the, every time, everybody's, everybody's trying to figure it out. Take off and, right. It almost seems like, like, okay, is this shit just a fucking dice roll? Is there any, like, you just, you know what I mean? Okay. But like everybody's getting niggas key or like. How many people are still holding on to Beanie Babies? Pokemon cards. I have no idea. Magic the Gathering. Uh, Marvel no comic books. <laughs> no, these things are being I'm sold sure. still. Yeah. still <laughs> you see yeah. what I mean? Like these things are being sold still. People are still collecting them. Like, you go into a shop and they're in cases called mint condition is like right the fucking card with an animal on it with stats that were made up right I don't think there's any rules I think there's just communities that you gotta tap into like the first NFTs that was going viral was like little kittens little different little kittens <laughs> people like cats yeah I heard the internet is mostly cats. Heard that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mostly cats. I can definitely see that. You said they're mostly cats and mostly porn. Well, let's see. Maybe porn first, then cats. That's hard. It might be cat porn. Yeah. It might be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's what I mean with this shit. It's like, Anything goes. If you can make a digital, anything fucking goes. Right. Mm-mm-mm. Like, I got the eye. I, got, I could, you know what I mean? Like, I got the eye. That's it. Like, like, shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Fuck around this crazy. I knew the Beeble nigga was dope. I knew the nigga was dope. I stayed fine. He, his shit was so fucked up. I was like, this shit's great. <laughs> right. I saw that, that nigga like so like so I was like wow I've been following this man for a year that's crazy like that is nuts you made 70 million on your ass yeah said, excuse me pardon me <laughs> crazy and he's been posting he did like a post every day I was just thinking like he had like a new post every single day was it just like, like a new picture a couple years of following yeah and always be like something with like Trump or like uh, Kim Jong or something like political or like uh, political drawings, you know, Kanye caricatures on top of like a like an alien that's like giving birth to like Trump inside the belt. Like fucked up shit. Like it looks like 
like apocalyptic nightmare shit that I was like, dope <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I have to follow this man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit that you just can't unsee.